I S U P K. what we out here for that's the whole purpose of, of our saturdays man you understand coming out here for our brothers and sisters not sitting at home with our woman like we want to do not chilling relaxing coming out here for our people man you understand showing you how to love your brother and sister love them like you love a white man how about that love them how you love the oppressor you understand C could you imagine if that situation that just happened over there, if it was a black brother and a white woman, could you under, could you imagine how what would have happened? Everybody would have ran over to protect the um, white woman, man. And y'all know what would have happened. Working, working, working. You understand? You do not know how to love your brothers and sisters, man, because you haven't been taught. You've been taught how to love the oppressor, man. Get, get me um, out of the Apocrypha, 1st Maccabees 348, man. Let me show you something, man. The people in the Bible have always been blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, man. You understand? It's easy to show criticism when you do absolutely nothing, man. It's always easy to find problems, but never solutions, man. And to point out uh, 1 Maccabees 3, verse 48, man. It's always easy to point out other people's flaws and what they're not doing. Nigga, what are you doing? You understand? What are you doing to show that you love your people? I'm pretty sure you have a, a bunch of solutions, right? But again, man, that's how you differentiate from us in the UPK, man. That's so Christian, man. So Christian to always point out what somebody else is doing, and you have absolutely no solution, man. When that's all we do is come out here and show you solutions, man. Things you've never tried or even attempted that's been in front of your face the whole goddamn time. Give me first Mac Maccabees 3 and 48, man. Let me show you what your oppressor has done with the Bible, man. Read. First Maccabees 3 and 48. Listen here, man. Read. And lay open the book of the law. And they laid open the book of the law. What is the book of the law? This Bible, man. You understand? That's the book of the law. The book of rules and laws given to you by your God. Yahweh in the Hebrew. Read. Wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness. Wherein the heathen sought to what? Paint. The likeness, so the heathen have taken this book, man, and have opened it up to paint the likeness of what? Of their image. Of their what? Of their images. Of their what? Of their images. That's their image, man. They took the Bible, opened it up, and said, well, damn, I want to be Jesus. I want to be God. I want to be the Israelites. They have laid open the book of the law and painted their images, man, because they know how powerful this book is. They don't do anything it says. They don't, they do not steal like the Bible says not to do. You understand? Or kill or destroy. They do, in fact, the exact opposite of what the Bible calls out, man. And that's so Christian to do, man. No. It's so Christian to go against the Bible and be contrary to it. You understand? Because Christianity is the religion of convenience. It's the religion to do whatever you feel like you want to do as long as it makes you feel good.
regardless of what the Most High thinks. That's Christianity, man. A false religion, and you can't find Christianity in this Bible. Read it again. First Maccabees 3, 48. Read. And they open the book of the law. And they have laid open the book of the law, man. And done what? Where the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. Well, the heathen have sought to paint the likeness of their image, man. Give me Ezekiel 3 and 8, man. That's so heavy, man. That's what the oppressor does, man. He doesn't like the fact that the Bible says the Jews are black. You understand? He doesn't like it. So what does he do? He takes the Bible and says, I'm Jesus. I'm Israel. God is white. You understand? That is such a lie and a blasphemy against the Most High. You understand? You ask a, um, an oppressor what the color of Christ is, he gonna tell you uh, Christ is uh, olive color. What the hell does that mean? Olives are either green or black. So explain, oppressor. You understand? They say this is an image of a Jew, man, which is a total lie. The Jews are black according to the Bible, man. And we've been showing you since we've been here. Since we've been here, you understand? Give me Ezekiel, Ezekiel 3 and 8. Read. Ezekiel 3, verse 8. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. We have, man, we have made our faces strong against you Christians, man. Against you Muslims, you understand? Read. And thy forehead is strong against their forehead. Read. None, as in abdent harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not. Fear them not, man. You all uh, Negroes coming up here against the camp, not uh, making any type of progress. No solutions for your people. We neither be dismayed at their looks. Though they be a rebellious house. You are a rebellious house, man. And why, man? Because you've been taught to be rebellious. You've been taught not to respect another black face, man. You've been taught not to respect your brother. However, if the oppressor is up here, man, he's all, you You are all ears. You understand? If, you, if somebody that does not look like you is around you, that's who you love, man. You don't love black people. You don't love Hispanics or Native Indians, man. You love the oppressor. Read. 10. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thine heart, and hear with thine ears. Oops, read verse 6. Go to 5. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech. Because we're not sent out here to a strange people, man. We are sent out here to our people. Read. And of a hard language. And of a hard language, read, you understand English, right? But to the house of Israel. But to who? The house of Israel. That's you blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Not too many people of a strange speech. Not to these other people, man. You understand? That's another thing that's hated about us, man. Because we love black people. You understand? And we don't have enough love for everybody else. That's the damn problem. You got so much love to give to these other nations, you, you haven't even reserved enough for yourself. You understand? You love the, the uh, so-called oppressor. You love the Arabs, man. I know y'all love the Arabs. Y'all up in that store buying them pork rinds, um, them cigarettes, and that liquor, and he hates your guts, man. He just wants you to give him that money and get the hell out of his store. Right. He doesn't even have you know, enough sense to keep the store clean. For you, for his primary customer, man, you know how many children of Arabs you sent to college, man? You understand? You know how many, how, how many families you've brought over from Iraq, from Iran, from Afghanistan because of your black dollar black man? You understand? These nations hate you, man. And all we asking is to, uh, is to be more like them. You understand? Be more like the Arab. Love your own people like he loves his. You understand? These other nations hate you, man. Love your, your brother like, damn, like you love the white man. A lot of y'all love the white man, man. 
the so-called oppressor. All I'm saying is love your brother like you love him. And you love him so much, you're a goddamn Christian. You love the Arab so much, you're a goddamn Muslim. You understand? You don't know what love is. The love is like to um, another brother, man. Christianity is the worship of the white man. That man right there, he is an imposter, man. Caesar Brochet, look him up. That's not the image of Christ in the Bible. Where the hell did they get that image from? We just read in First Ma in, um, First Maccabees three forty eight that the heathen have opened up the book and painted the likeness of their image. I mean, black man, you don't ask any questions. Check this out. The Arabs have an Arab prophet, and they worship a rock, an Arab god, man. They worship genies and all that garbage, man. The white man has white Jesus. His God looks like him. Muhammad looks like an Arab. White, black man. Who is your God, man? You know who your God is? Your God looks like the oppressor's God. You don't even think to your goddamn self, well, why the hell doesn't my God look like me? Even the damn uh, Asian man who feeds you all that dog and cat in that restaurant, you understand? Buddha looks like him. Everybody has a God. Every nation has a God. And guess what? Their God looks like them, man. Except yours, black man. Your God is whoever the flavor of the day is, man. One day you a Christian. Then you find out that's a lie. Then you jump into Islam. You find out this a lie. Then you just say, hell, I'm going to try Buddhism. And then you find out that's about a bunch of homosexuality. And you get the hell out of that. And then before you know it, you're an atheist. You understand? You don't even go searching to find out who you are according to this Bible, man. You don't even prove out the Christian theology, man, the Christian dogma and all that garbage, man, to see if it's true. We, but what we have done, man, you got scholars up here, man, that go through this Bible, read the Hebrew in the old text, know the Paleo-Hebrew, you understand? And find out what they were saying was true, man. Find out where the lo location of the true Hebrews are, according to this Bible, man. The Jews over there in Israel today are not the true Jews, you understand? They're nothing but imposters. And if you read Revelations 2 and 9, it'll tell you. You understand? No, let's read that one more time. That, um, Ezekiel 3, verse 6. Read. Go ahead, you know what, brother? Go ahead and get Revelations 2 and 9. Let's show who those people over there in Israel are. A bunch of imposters. Just more liars opening up the book of the law and painting the likeness of their image, man. Give me Re uh, Revelations 2 and 9. What does the book of Revelations mean? It means to reveal, to let you know what's going on. Read Revelations 2 and 9. Revelations 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. This, what color is that writing in, brother? Red. This this text is written in red, man. That means it came out of Christ's mouth. Read. I know thy works and tribulation. The Lord knows our works and our tribulation, man. Our trouble. Read. And poverty. And poverty. Damn. Is a black man poor? I think so. Read. But thou art rich. But well, we are what? Rich. We are what? Rich. Well, we rich, man. Read on. And I know the blasphemy. I know the blasphemy, blasphemy, which is a wicked, filthy lie, man. Blasphemy. Of them which say they are Jews. Of them that say they are Jews. There's somebody running around saying they are Jew. You understand? And they don't fit the scriptures in this Bible. They don't fit the description of a Jew. You understand? They don't fit the blessings and the curse of a Jew. Read. And are not. And are what? And are not. Those people saying they are Jews who are not going through tribulation, who aren't in poverty, are liars, man. You understand? Go back to uh, Ezekiel 3 and 6, man. So the Lord can see who we are here for, man. We're not coming out to, a, to just any old goddamn body. You understand? I, it's, it's things I want to do on my Saturday, but I love my people. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dedicate a couple hours. 
You understand? I'm going to dedicate funds. I'm going to make sure brothers are housed. I'm going to make sure if a brother come up to me and he's hungry, I do what I can to make sure he gets fed. I'm not going to be a Christian and tell you to pray on it. We, As we do in the UPK, we work on our actions, man. We love you according to our actions. A Christian going to tell you all day when that light about to go out to um, just pray on it. You understand? Give me Ezekiel 3 and 6. Ezekiel 3 verse 6. Oh, start at 5. Ezekiel 3 and 5. Three. For thou art not sent to a people of strange speech. We're not sent out here to a people of strange speech. We're sending, sent out here to a people that talk the same language as we do. We. And of a hard language. And of a hard language, we. But to the house of Israel. Man, we the house. Y'all the Israelites, man. <laughs> the Israelites, you understand? You are a holy people. You are set to a higher standard than these other nations, man. You understand? You are a special people. According to the God of the Hebrews, man. Yahweh in the Hebrew. We? Not to... Six. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language. Whose words thou canst cannot understand. See, man, y'all understand our words. This is we out here for you, man. You understand? Give me Job 12 and 7, man. The problem is you don't know who your enemy is, black man, Hispanic and Native Indian man. It's real simple. Just turn on the TV and see who's putting you in cages. You understand who's beating you to death and killing you? It's real easy to find out who your oppressor is, who your enemy is. You understand? Guess what? If you ask an elephant or the last white rhino who the um, enemy is, he'll be able to tell you, man. Give, give me that uh, scripture, man. Job 12 and 7. Read. Job 12, verse 7. Read. But ask now the beast. Ask who? The beast. Ask the beast, man. Ask the deer who's, who runs for his life around November, man. Who the devil is. Who the oppressor is. You understand? Read. And they shall teach thee. He'll teach you. I know that you black, you black Hispanics and Native Indians, I know you don't know who hates you. You think everybody loves you, and we just got to live Martin Luther King's stupid dream and just try a little harder, right? We And the fowls of the air. And the what? The fowls of the air. When it's duck hunting season, ask them, man, who the devil or who the oppressor is, man. Read. And they shall tell thee. And they'll tell you. Read on. Eight. Or speak to the earth. Speak to the earth. Speak to the Amazon rainforest and tell them who the wicked is on the earth, man. Who's burning those trees up? We. And it shall teach thee. You see that, man? Nature itself knows who the oppressor is. Know who the enemy is. But black people don't. You know why? Because we listen to Martin Luther King. We listen to Martin Luther King. Now we have no more businesses. Bye-bye businesses. I have to go to the Arab now to get my groceries because of Martin Luther King. You understand? I have to go out and give my money to people who hate me because of Martin Luther King, who didn't speak not one word out of this Bible, man. Go to his speech. He's such a preacher, right? Revise his speech and see if one scripture came out of that speech, man. Martin Luther King was a super duper hater of black people, man. And his whole goal was to give you over back to white people, man. Right. Spend your money in the white businesses who hate you. How many, I mean, feel that for a minute. If I spend my money with the Arab, with the white man in their businesses, right? What's going to happen to black businesses? Look around you. If you don't know the answer, ask the trees, man. Ask the dog, ask the cat, ask the lion. You understand? That's what we did, man. Our black leaders have failed us, man. So you know what? It's our turn. You understand? Christianity, Islam has failed us. It's our turn. And we got the solution, man. It's in this Bible.
trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? 